everybody. I'm in Pennsylvania, and I'm here with my friend Chris and his vintage. What year is that truck? 1968. 68 Ford. Look at this truck. Now, at first, I thought there were solar panels on top of it. I guess you could put solar panels on it, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Camper's got the solar panels on it. How many How many uh, solar panels are up there? Uh, there's 400 watts. 400? Yeah, That's sure. That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. And what kind of camper is this? It's called a Tada. It's uh, literally a small or a large version of what is now the Tab. Okay. Yeah, so the, which you see a lot, quite a few of. Yeah. And they made, a, they made these three years, and I guess it was bad years for making campers in general because they just, they just stopped after that. And... Uh, yeah, it's a, I would say it's a 2009-ish. But it's so cute. It looks like the old um, can hams. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah. like that. And you got plenty of storage on the outside. Now, what's under that white right there? Um, originally, it had the gas tank in it okay. and the battery. Um, now, I just use it for storage for, you know, odds and ends, cords and, and hoses and stuff yeah. like that. And I move the batteries inside because it's got lithium batteries in it now. And. I moved. I made a mount for the gas tank to move that out so that it wasn't you 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 using up my storage room. Yes. So yes. Yeah. Now, what are these handles for? They're it, they're all for show. They do nothing. Just for show, yeah. because I was thinking. Well, I guess you could grab those. You could pull it around the campsite. Well, you they're really only on there with some small screws. Okay. They're not They're not on there with anything. But if you took the, once you take the covers off and you look, you're like, you really and, and they really don't do a lot. They look kind of cool. There's something to grab onto when you're walking around the thing, but. Uh, there's, there's truly the style. You can hang your towel on it. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you've yeah. got outside storage. Does that go all the way through? Um, no, because there's an air conditioner on the other side. Oh. Rather than put the air conditioner on the top, they put it inside. So you kind of kept that height down and they kept the vintage look. Because if you put an air conditioner on yes. a vintage camper, you, you'd think to yourself, wow, that doesn't, that doesn't look right. So. And that awning. I love that zippered yeah. awning pouch that, there. That was designed for, actually for a... Uh, a pop-up and I bought it um, and then inside it's actually this same color green stripe white with green stripes as the camper I had to buy the material and then the guy made it for me so he 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 he, he didn't give me a credit for the material he didn't use but he did make it and it is it, it is nice when it's out it looks good and your 400 watts uh, enables you to run the AC and everything no okay uh, refrigerator uh -huh. and uh, you know, TV, VCR, the, the heating system, stuff. whatever, whatever is there. But air conditioner, that's you need a lot of you need a lot of battery and a yeah. lot of a lot of solar to do yeah. that. I think yeah. I think I think yeah. having a minimal of probably twice that amount of solar and probably three times the battery I have to do it right. So and these larger windows, those all open. Yeah. So yeah. you have a good cross ventilation. Sure. I'm gonna walk over this. I gotta see this air conditioner. This is so. I love these little round windows too. Yeah. It just adds to the whole Oh, it's made by Thor. Well, that yeah, makes it sense. was it was actually marketed by Dutch Dutchman. Uh-huh. And then made by Thor. Yeah. Yep. For Ta -da! them. I love it. These here it used to have square lights on it. Uh-huh. And uh, I got hit in the back end of Texas and it got totaled. <sighs> and then I I bought it back off the insurance company and pushed the dent back out. Uh -huh. And when I did, you if you don't look, you can't tell there's a dent in there, but it's there because it, aluminum is hard to straighten. Yeah. These are from a 1967 or 68 Bronco. These are headlight rings and these are from a school bus. And inside here is is actually a, um, uh, a bungee cord that I cut and glued together to kind of take up the space. So Isn't it funny make, how we just and, oh so the whole the whole thing was to put this license plate in the center so you didn't notice the dent. Gotcha. Yeah. Isn't it funny how we just we just manufacture the what we need? Yeah, yeah. You just got to think things out, and that's how it goes down. So, so where is this air conditioner? It's right in that little spot in the front there. That under right behind here is where the AC is. Right Isn't here. that yeah. something? Yep. I would have never thunk it. Yep. Yeah, I made, huh. a, I made a cover for that because when it gets really cold, that cold air leaks in underneath the bed. Oh, of and course. It, yeah, so I made a little insulated cover to put on there. Of course. Yeah. This is just fan, and this truck, I just, and the color, I can't, I, I can't mean, the truck's, say enough. The truck's pretty modern outside the looks because I, I put a, a fuel-injected motor and a five-speed in it and air conditioning and power brakes and all the things you need to kind of take long trips, and it, it's taken a lot of long trips, so... 
Man, um, how many miles do you think you've put on it since you started camping? Uh, camping wise, about 90,000 of that and 150,000 altogether. Wow. Since I've owned it. And I've, I don't know how many years I've owned it, but probably close to around 10. Oh, my goodness. So it's, I just love it. And I keep noticing where the paint's going to get ready to bubble up yes. eventually. Like, I'm going to be fighting it eventually. So. That's just part of yeah. I, I love the mirrors, the little eyes. I just love everything about it. And I have to get a picture of this because I think this is important. Made in America. Well, but the license plates the are made in China when I got it. But the license plates made in China. Yeah. That's fantastic. You hey, let's take a, a, a trip inside this. Ta-da. Okay. And um, he's getting ready to go out traveling for a few days. So everything's kind of battened down for travel mode. I do the same thing. But I do love this. And it's got to be awfully easy to to handle and to... Yeah, it's not bad. It's nice not bad. little door. Step out of here. Look at this. Got a kitchen. Little dinette. Well, you could sleep. I don't know. You could put four or five, six people in here if you wanted to. I don't know who'd want to travel with that many people. But if you wanted to, you could. The refrigerator and the refrigerator works on electric and propane. Or no, just it's, it's just twelve volts, which it's twelve is, volts it is actually more efficient than doing both. When you do both, it yeah, 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 it just isn't efficient. This is so nice. Well, Chris, I appreciate it. This has just been my my viewers are going to love this. Um, I just I just love meeting people. Chris is a part of um, Harvest Host, and Boondocker is welcome. That's why I'm here, and I had the pleasure of meeting him. Anything you want to say about your camping adventures? What's the favorite place you've ever been? Uh, I've got to say the favorite state would probably be Idaho, just because of how wild the rivers are, just how, you know, it, it, it hasn't been infiltrated as bad as some of the other Western yes. states. Mont the northern part of Montana, up by Glacier. I really like that whole area up in there. I love Colorado, except Colorado's busy. And um, any of the mountains, any of the mountains, the greener parts of the state, all those states, they're... Western sides all are beautiful and green and lush, and all the all the eastern parts of them are generally desert and arid, which is nice. But it's not my doesn't really blow my mind as much as the high mountains do. So yeah, okay. California's also got its good parts, and yeah, it's just beautiful to be able to do it. America is a, a great country. You know, so. I, I I find that there's so many people spending their time and their their resources traveling to Europe and Asia and all this. There's so much here. They have to no see. idea. They have they no have idea. No clue. They have no idea what's in their no own clue. country. It's so weird. Yeah. It's so pack it, your hey, kids I didn't up. either. So I mean, I mean right. uh, we all started out right. as, as we lived in our own little hole and we didn't we didn't do it. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go. Yeah, and I think so. you just need to pack your kids up, throw them in the back seat, show them this country. Yeah. Yeah, and you need the time. If it if it's planned and rushed, you miss everything. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, it, it's all the crannies, the nooks and crannies that you want to get at. Everything else is exactly the same. The, every exit in America, no matter one side of the country or the other, it's the same gas stations, it's the same restaurants and everything. You just need to get, you need to meet people and you need to find out where all the local places are that they know about. That's the real stuff. So. Yeah, we need to take a back road. Yeah. Take yeah. a back road. Yeah. Well, thank you, Chris. All it's right, been a then. pleasure and uh, safe travels. Okay, then.